guys welcome back to my channel it's so good to be back and today i have a fun vlog for you guys so this is really me taking you on a trip back to the village for my traditional wedding ceremony we are currently in anambra and it promises to be a really really fun vlog and it feels so good to be back just seeing the environment breathing fresher clearer air just seeing all the activities you know the hustle and bustle everything it just feels so good to see it i've been away for almost a year at this point and so it felt really good to be back home i'm currently in onicha and i mean it was just so nice seeing the market just seeing everything it just really felt really nice and good just seeing everything so comment down below if you see any familiar places in this video and please do not forget to subscribe like and yeah just drop a comment telling me congratulations wishing me well in comment section and i look forward to reading and responding to your comments yeah so before we proceed to the other fun parts of the vlog i just thought i should share some tips for anyone that might be planning a wedding anytime soon so i was a 2024 bride and i started planning for my wedding way ahead of time I'm, I'm talking like six months before my wedding ceremony and i think i would advise anyone that knows they are getting married to have at least six months or more to plan this helps you to really avoid hiking prices of goods it helps you to have time to get the best vendors and it also helps you to just not be in a hurry for someone like me i took my time to buy my outfits i took my time to source vendors and to just go to different markets and explore the prices and negotiate and haggle prices and all that and it also helps me not to be overwhelmed as well if you're if you have a wedding planner you might not necessarily need all these tips but if you don't have a wedding planner and you're planning a wedding on a budget um three tips i have for you is start planning on time go to different markets stores online to source for your outfits your fabrics ask your family and friends for vendor contacts that way um you might get a discount on your vendor prices and then just ask for help ask for people around you to offer you help most times they'll be more than willing to help you and just ensure that you get the best out of your money's worth so right now we're currently in my grandmother's village yay <laughs> so we're here to see my grandma and to just say hi um before we head over to our own village and so this is how a typical village in the east looks like there's a lot of trees a lot of greenery how many places would you see lots of trees like this and everybody is just moving slowly we're in the compound already so yes we are here to see grandma and yes i'll just um let you guys hear what she has to say this is us i'm just like looking at the compound it's been a while i was here and yeah so i was just looking around and taking it all in and so um i'm just trying to get things out of the car as well so i came back with my siblings and i and this is all heading to see grandma so i forgot to complete the recording of that day i caught carried away and so this is us now in my own village actually my dad's village and um just showing you the environment we are just um walking to church it's christmas day so we're just walking to church the church is very very close to the house like five minutes walk to the house so we're just walking into the church and yeah this is 
this is just the environment this is how everywhere looks like I remember as a child, we used to be super scared. I personally used to be scared walking around in the village because you would think that a masquerade would just jump out at you from the forest and catch you. But now we are grown and so we know better. So I feel comfortable walking around, just exploring the environment and just getting familiar with the route. So yeah hey guys it's officially the night before and this is just me leaving my room see i've been inside my room all day and i just wanted to get out and see what was happening and just survey the environment so my mom's friends had arrived my mom's sisters as well and they made this nice offing sala and semu for us to eat that night and i just came to greet them you know and check up on them and they were just teasing me and all that I I also wanted to see what was going on in the compound the caterers were around and i'm so sorry for the quality of this clip the lightning was really really poor so the caterers had set up their things and everyone was just getting ready it's officially the d-day guys i'm so sorry i could not get clips from me getting ready and all that but so this is me i'm made up already and trust me this makeup was mm, chef's kiss i absolutely loved it it was just simple and minimal just like me this is my go-to look i like simple and minimal makeup i had to have i was a bit of a bridezilla not gonna lie but yeah it really turned out well at the end of the day and my hair was styled by myself as well and yeah that's it and this is me i'm dressed up in my first outfit taking photos my photographers were really hands-on on this day they were just really telling me oh, pose here pose there and my first dance you guys see my girls now see my cousins see see my people and yeah this is them just leading me in for my first dance you guys trust me the story behind this is really long i mean i had waited a long time before i had to do my first dance because the ceremony started really late but anywho it was really fun and yeah <laughs> See, I'm not the best dancer, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to try. And I just told people, like, Omo, oh, give me ginger because me, I'm no savvy dance, you get. And I didn't do so badly. I mean, I tried, I tried. I mean, I was tired at this point because I had been doing photo shoots for hours, right? And I was just trying my best to dance and I had ginger and I was so conscious God I didn't want my makeup to melt because the weather was really really hot so I had my fan with me I had someone holding a fan with me as you're seeing from the clip and it was a really large compound and I had to dance round but all in all like from what i was told i tried that's my sister over there dancing <laughs> and that's my cousin's friend so yeah uh, really i didn't really plan to have an ashobi so it was just like a family ashobi and all that and look at your girl now see as ah uh, ah uh, can your bride ever be can't okay <laughs> If I don't have myself, who will? So it was really, really, yeah. I was tired, but I tried not to show it. I was smiling. I had practiced a little bit of choreography with my cousins, and this is us just doing it. I mean, it's optional if you want, but I just thought for uniformity, you might as well practice something. I should have recorded that as well, but it was super chaotic. We just practiced the morning of the event, and before makeup and all that and this is just because your girl was just trying to dance but you see this traditional dance thing <laughs> let's let's just say we tried and yeah 
Elmo, just enjoy, just enjoy. Because as I'm just watching this, I'm laughing, I'm smiling, I'm reliving the moment, and a lot of fun was had. Period. <laughs> like i said you see this dance thing <laughs> now god they really help us <laughs> so i mean they said dance so sad they will spray you and all that and i was tired i mean i was on heels and i don't wear heels on a normal day so i was on heels and at this point my hairpiece was already removing and i was sweating i was tired you were like that's why i'm like i'm tired i'm tired <laughs> but like i just tried to just move my body just move honestly i really didn't dance like that uh, to be honest i really didn't dance but like they kept on telling me oh remember to smile and that's one tips for brides because your videos your pictures you really don't know who is capturing the moment so you just want to make sure that your teeth is outside okay <laughs> so they are just telling me keep smiling keep smiling and you see that my fan omo my best companion like don't even try doing anything without it because the weather was really hot and you would start getting uncomfortable so my makeup did not track um, crack rather my makeup artist is an ace but i was still feeling like oh what if it will crack so i always had my fan with me um, i just really tried to do whatever she decided she dance so yeah now let's just whatever let's just move our body <laughs> ah that was that was really just it and of course at the point i got tired and i'm like i'm done guys i hope you've been having fun with me so far so of course i'm changed down to my second outfit dancing to go and give wine and trust me i've said it countless times but at this point my tired was tired <laughs> because this event was actually happening let's say around that 5 30 p.m and i did my makeup since nine i've been doing photo shoot all day yada 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 so it was actually getting tiring at this point and this is that was my cousin just directing me oh smile at this canopy do this do that because i told everyone see let me know what to do at every point because a girl don't know what she's doing okay and so this was me i was not really even smiling but my cousin was like oh smile and i was trying my hardest to smile because i was i was just like let this day come and go i'm tired okay <laughs> and they had paid the bright price at this point so it was just dancing to go and give wine this is me and mr a booking it down <laughs> this is just us having fun you know and yeah this was dance 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 it was really a beautiful event glory be to god i really had a nice time everyone that came to had a nice time lots to eat and drink my friend came around my friends came around actually and thank god for everything thank you for watching <laughs>